featuring on today's episode. Take too many casualties. Burn them, lads. Burn them. There we go. They are burning them. Ish. There we go. In. I. Ah, yeah. Gas them and machine gun them at the same time. That is fantastic. Oh, flipping heck. I think they're pretty serious about coming back this way. I need the gas to get there quickly. There you go. Gas is there. I've got more planes coming in. They're going to get singed and burnt. Yeah, they don't like that. Being dismembered, I can't imagine, is a particularly pleasant experience. Yes. I might as well get more gas in. Yeah. With a little bit of explosive goodness. Most of them are now thinking, yeah, nah, it's not worth it, lads. It's not worth it. You must love gaming because you are watching this video, so why not save yourself some money and get on instant gaming? They have everything you could possibly want. The new stuff, the pre-order stuff, and the classics. Honestly, you're missing out if you don't get on here. There's a link down below in the description. You can thank me later. Hello, valued viewers. Last episode, the shorter one, we took a province from the Entente forces, and now we're going to be focusing on Torsi. Now, because we have just taken province, our troops are unable to move, and we just need to do that next turn. Then we can move them all into province and attack Torsi from two different sides, which is right lovely. The enemy seem keen to re-liberate the Bouzier, but so far we've held them off, which is fantastic. Defending everywhere else with incredibly thin lines of only one infantry corps in there and an air wing, that is it. Technology-wise, I'm going to start heading towards the chlorine gas because why not? It's just fantastic. And we got the high yield explosives last time because the enemy have tanks. And the only real means I have of blowing them up is with mortars. So this will increase their destructive capability by a whopping 60%. Not only will people's arms be ripped off occasionally, but their head and legs and other arms will also get blown off, which is fantastic. So let's get stuck in, straight into Torsi. Lovely. Just thinking about setting up before the battle. Now, the enemy have lots of the improved trench works, which can be a bit of a nuisance. As we can see over here, there are plenty more here and here and here, here, here and here. Which is a nightmare because normally what I like to do is do lots of heavy artillery and blow them all up to pieces. However, that won't work half as good when they are stationing men in these trenches. So we might end up having to gas them a good amount, which is absolutely fine. If they want to play it like that, we could do that. Also, we could pre-bombard them with siege artillery. There's a 20% chance, pretty much, of blowing them up. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Over here, it looks like they have placed some barbed wire. I fully expect that to get updated once the battle has started. And there's a few remnants bits of it over here as well. Doesn't look like there's been much over here. There's a little bit there, what remains. However, it can be a problem. So we're going to have to go with the Bavarian Pioneers, which move through the enemy barbed wire and blow it up instantly, which is fantastic. There we go. We have troops ready. We've got the Bavarian troops down here ready to go and push through any barbed wire that the enemy like to place down. We have Stormtroopers as well, because they are going to be in mostly the entrenched... Not entrenched, flipping out, what am I on about? The improved trench work, where we could burn them out if needs be, followed up by lots of elite German infantry. I'm going to have some machine guns down in case the enemy get giddy, because I'm going to send all of these troops forward, and it's going to be undefended otherwise. Balloons, I've got three of them. 
Now, they're not the best range currently, so that's why I've got three. And I definitely would like that upgrade that boosts their range. Over here, we have some, well, many ammo cache, which is fantastic. Brilliant at reducing the cost of the artillery, which is more than likely going to get hammered. And then we have more pioneers and German elite troops ready for a push into the center, perhaps. Maybe here, so that when they're running across, they can get gunned down and murdered. And then over here, we have a little bit more of the same. The Bavarian pioneers and the elite troops with more machine guns. A little bit concerned about this balloon. It's probably going to get destroyed, but it is what it is. We can push forward, hopefully, into this area and murder many people. My main point is going to be over here at first, because I suspect the enemy are going to be coming from this area first. And with this being a little bit further down compared to the others, we should be able to murder a few of them. But we shall see. So the pre-battle bombardment is about to begin. Here we go. Bombardment is happening. It's destroying barbed wire and trenches. Anybody that's in them. French infantry murdered. Oh, I didn't do that much. It mostly went for the barbed wire. I mean, that's fine, but I would have liked more of the trenches gone. Now, well, let's get the balloons in the air immediately. There's no doubt they're going to be coming running forwards. Yeah, just as I thought. Those trenches are still very much active. That is of great concern. What I am going to do, now that we have... Well, we'll see if we've got enemy airplanes floating about, but we do have our own for definite. We'll get scout planes in the air while we murder these British that are approaching and see if the enemy have their artillery stationed up here somewhere. Because if they do, I'm going to murder them with the siege artillery, which is more efficient than sending about 20 planes to try and blow them up. There's one. Ah, oh, yes, we found all of it. Fantastic. We're going to use the siege artillery. Let's see if it does what I want it to do. Whenever it fires today. Hello, valued viewers. Sorry for the interruption, but if you could just spend that two seconds to click that like button somewhere down at the bottom, that will go a long way to helping me out. Thank you. Oh, it's coming. Okay, we did some. What's going on over here? How are the British in here? What? Oh, they must have snuck through. Cheeky gits. I can't do that again. We've got a bit of a timer on that. Okay. I'll have to see how that goes. And we murdered some people in a, a trench as well. And we destroyed a trench with that. So that is actually quite lovely. So we're going to immediately follow that up with an artillery barrage of the men in this exposed trench and then hopefully eradicate that balloon so that the enemy are blind, which would be absolutely fantastic. Most excellent. Will it be enough to polish it though? It bloody better be. Come on. Ah, oh, do you know? Let's see if the light artillery can polish that off. It might. Oh, it might. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. A de death of destruction. Wouldn't like to be underneath of that, would you? Seen as the siege artillery didn't finish off the artillery, I'm going to set some bombers in to start tickling the remnants of their remaining stuff. Off the go, because look, they're already trying to blow me up which is not very nice many people are about to choke <laughs> gas is going down ah yeah they're gonna run away from there they don't particularly like being in there and our men are running forward these are the pioneers hopefully they will eradicate this barbed wire before anything too nasty happens and very soon we're gonna follow it up with the elite troops. 
Excellent. Following it up now with harassment planes. Now the men are out of those rather juicy trenches. We're going to send in the bombers with the machine guns, which will murder them as they're running about figuring out what to do next. One thing I do hope is that the gas dissipates before my troops get there. <laughs> We'll suppress these guys down there before they start trying to shoot me. There we go. I think they're already starting to murder people. They just need to get over there quickly. Come on, lads. No, the gas is... No, it's not working. Suppress, suppress, suppress. Oh, we've got in. Nice. Got some spare artillery. Which we could use to suppress them a little bit. Before we take too many casualties. Nice. They are pretty much in now. Harassment planes are doing the work on them as well. How effective that was, I don't quite know. They're pretty good in those damn trenches. But we are in. That is the main thing. Any troops now coming to try and murder ours are going to get slapped in the face. Which is absolutely fantastic. We are in. That's the hardest bit done. Enemy artillery is still operational. I'll send some more bombers in. Because I'm not having that. Thankfully, this is an improved trench. And it would appear there's only one or two artillery batteries operational out of that. Because it's only sporadic. Now we just need to shove them out of here. We'll get these troops moving forward into the forward bit of trench. So that they are ready and think about murdering this lot. Three batteries each should eradicate those troops. And we've just got this to deal with. I'm hoping I could just run across. But that will be fantastic. Or even just run up there and squirt them in the face. Let's see what we can do. Let's bring up the stormtroopers and the elite infantry that remains. Artillery's done a fantastic job there. I just need to shove these out of here. Will they move if I guess it again? Apparently not. Because they know they'll just get murdered, you see. Maybe troops floating around here. The bombers are murdering things. Maybe some harassment planes in this area will stop reinforcements from arriving. Just need a way of murdering them. Let's get a wee bit of smokage down. That might sort them out. Or the spot of artillery. The smoke is doing wonders for them. They're going to be partially sorted out. They're giving up a little bit. Burn them, lads. Burn them. There we go. They are burning them. Ish. There we go. In. Ah, oh, yeah. That was fantastic. This is now the area of concern. I don't necessarily want them getting in. Let's send some artillery in as well. Yeah, they don't like that. Maybe a spot of gas would have done them even better. Some of them are running home. We've got this infantry ready to push forward. But they have been eradicated. We've got more in the way now. Better get some more harassment planes in. I mean, they are doing a little bit, but... Is it going to be enough? I don't quite know. A spot of gas, I think, is needed. Because they are now suppressing my own men with sporadic artillery. There we go. Gas and machine gun fire doesn't do them any favours. Just need to wait for these troops to move forward, and then we can think about moving over here. Oh, they are doing it. They are murdering them. Let's get some of these stormtroopers in these bits. And then we can really do something about it. Apparently they can shoot inside <laughs> of the trench. I don't know how they're not going to murder our own men while they're doing that, but okay. Let's just guess the entire lot. Get more planes in. Planes are right lovely. We're going to burn them, gas them, and machine gun them at the same time. That is fantastic! If you think that is right lovely, do let me know in the comments. I want to see it. That is right lovely. 
They're murdering more of them. Let's get a recon plane in. Maybe another... Uh, yeah, we must get another bomber in. Their artillery is still active. They're trying to work away around the gas. These are just finished at this point. They're pretty much finished as well. We'll get some fresh troops in. Now that we can resupply from this area right here. While all this is going on and the enemy are suffering. I thought that was one of their planes then. Flipping out. Oh, they've got plenty of troops running around. Come on, planes. Shoot them. We're going to send more troops down here. Well, initiate this attack, should I say. This might need blowing up a little bit. We shall eradicate these troops with heavy artillery. And gas these ones out of the trench. While our troops are on the way. Better send in the other lot. There you go, the elite troops are now going to follow up. With the pioneers. There we go, more harassment planes. I'll murder them while they're floating about. That sounds right lovely. Just to help cover their advance, I'm going to... Stick a bit of smoke down, that's right lovely. Oh, flipping heck. I think they're pretty serious about coming back this way. I need the gas to get there quickly. There you go, gas is there. I've got more planes coming in. They're going to get singed and burnt. Yeah, they don't like that. They don't like that at all. Don't get in. Don't get in. Oh, they're going to get in. Ah! Planes are a little bit too late. Hopefully this lasts. Yes. Over here we have successfully gone in the trench. But I don't know what is in those outer bits. So I'll put a bit of sporadic suppression down. They are coming. I just don't know where the rest of them are. Oh, there you go. They are in. That is wonderful. Oh, we murdered most of them. That is good. We can swap these pioneers out with up there just to hold the position and take care of the troops that are in this region. More thinking of just holding it at the moment. We can get some grenadiers in, actually, I think. Yeah, that'll be a nice addition. Put them there, and then everything will be spanky dory. These troops were part of the initial push. Oh, look, we're shooting them. That is wonderful. Now we've got plenty of people in here. There are troops in that bit, which is a bit of a nuisance. And they're still going to keep trying to push this way, apparently. Going to have to keep an eye on them. I could keep doing lots of artillery barrages. That'll soften them up. I reckon they'll keep trying to run through that, to be honest. Especially when it already lands on top of the head. What are they actually supposed to do? I don't quite know. Yeah, they're not too happy about it, are they? Being dismembered, I can't imagine, is a particularly pleasant experience. Dismembered and shot. Fantastic. Now it looks like they're going to be coming this way, and there's a few people darting around. Hmm. I wonder if there's anybody up there, though. That's the thing. I could do with a smidge of smoke. And then run forward. Move the smoke in. That should be done there now. We'll push these troops forwards. They're going to fight it out. Artillery is going to be a bit useless on this edge. Hopefully, once we move forward a bit, we can actually see what we're dealing with. Nobody's shooting at them yet, so they might get away with it. But more troops on the way in that general direction. And we're going to start an attack this way as well. I might go for some raiders. Where have they gone? There you go. A few of them going in there. And we're going to start a push into the centre bit as well. And the enemy aren't going to know what's hitting them in the face. We've managed to move across, which is fantastic. We'll do it there as well and push. Oh, get back in the trench, you lemons. Yeah, we've only got sporadic gunfire going on there. If I can capture this, that'll be absolutely fantastic. And I honestly think the enemy are probably going to be thinking about running out of men soon. The Air Force has been hammered. I might have to invest in some more planes. There's a few troops that I could blow up, so I might as well. Just eradicate all of those British lads there. Sorry, chaps. 
and we've got a few people floating around. Get over there and see what happens. They're still trying to reinforce this area. We don't have any planes left, really. Move them troops over there. These could do with reinforcing. I mean, we're going to have a few troops. Oh no, I pressed the wrong one. I'm just going to send that infantry home. I do not want the standard infantry. They are not the best. They're only to be used when things are a bit dire. Shoot them. Damn it. Oh, they're coming in again on this end. Just put some high explosives on their heads and watch them explode. While being shot. Most excellent. There you go. That is wonderful. These troops are quite fearful. French colonial infantry. Nasty. They've got a few men in there. They're a little bit done. But we have more troops now available, which is absolutely fantastic. We can actually think about moving across. Uh, see, look, they're trying to take bits of it all the time now. So they're split up, which is fantastic for me. I just need to think about moving forward. I'm going to recomplain up here and see what the crack is. We are now securing this region. So we'll get a few troops just moved up that little bit more. They managed to squeeze a few in there. We'll help them out with some of the stormtroopers. Oh, look at all them coming. They don't know where to go. Yeah, I need to push forward. Oh, flipping heck. Gonna have to get all the artillery on this bit. Hopefully it'll be enough. Because they're only engaged though, it's gonna be a bit of a problem. They might try and grab that back. I've got more troops coming in. Thankfully I could reinforce from just there. This main bit up here looks a little bit worrying. Gonna get a few in. They are shooting them. Nice, nice. They're still trying it up on this end. Gotta keep a few troops darted about just to wear them down, really. There you go. All of them survived, which is wonderful. Get a few more troops going that way. We can occupy that trench. Well, take it back from them, should I say. Hopefully we can do it with just that one. Then we've got a fresh troop ready and waiting. They managed to squeeze some in there. Ooh, I didn't see that one coming. We'll just replace them. That's fine. They're going to get swatted. More troops are on the way. Over here... Um, not looking fantastic. Gotta get some more troops in. We've nearly captured this region. But just not quite. That's the only issue, really. So they're going to have to wait a little while before those troops come, so I'll keep these ones involved, but we have managed to keep them in. Down here, they must have sent a few more. We need the Adam. We'll send them ones home. Send them ones home. Yeah, we're doing all right. We are doing right lovely. Now, I just need another recon plane because I completely forgot what was up here. They must be running out of troops now. They're still sending more. A little bit worrying. Thankfully, we've got the Air Force. Because they're going to be coming again. We're going to get all the artillery on it again. All of them. And murder them. Shoot them, lads. Shoot them. There you go. They're doing it. They're doing it. They're being obliterated. It's not very nice. Observation balloon. There's not too much. I can work with that. We can artillery these to death. These we're going to have to gas or suppress. But it looks like they're running out of men. Excellent news. Well, still sending a couple. But they are going to get shot. One on its own we can easily deal with. It's when they send in about 30 of the damn things. That's when they start to struggle. So we can move these troops. A little bit closer in preparation. Enemy artillery is now pretty much non-existent. We could start thinking about blowing all of this up. Can't see who is there, but I'm pretty sure there are people there. So I'm going to send the artillery to do, deal with them. While these troops move forward, 
And once that happens, they get a little bit closer, we can gas them. Gas the ones at the back and put some smoke down. That's probably a good idea to do that right now, actually. Before they get too giddy. There's probably going to be a lot of men in that bunker. But I definitely want to gas the people that are up here. That'll do our men at the world of good. Let's get another scout plane in. Because they won't like that. Move forward, lads. Move forward. I think that might have been destroyed, actually. It's not great, is it? We'll move the men forward and have a quick look see. Oh, flipping egg. There may be one or two that have survived. We're going to rely on artillery again. Gas all of that, which is wonderful. They're getting shot a little bit. We've got some smoke in the air. Artillery this, keep them quiet, hopefully eradicate them. If I could just get in that trench. If I could just get in there, that would be fantastic. Men are... Oh, flipping egg. I didn't know there was people there. They are slapping a lot of my men in the face. Oh, man. Time is off the essence. Run, lads. Run. Just press anything that is in there. We need to get in before that gas goes. If we could do that, we're good. It looks like they're going to try and retake a bit of that. We deal with that. What's happening over here? We can send them home. Oh, I've done it again with the regular infantry. Let's get some troops in to sort that out. Those British troops are salting in their own thing. Now, this is what I wanted. Perfection. Yes. I might as well get more gas in. Yeah. With a little bit of explosive goodness. Most of them are now thinking, yeah, nah, it's not worth it, lads. It's not worth it. I'm telling you, it isn't. But they might get in. Hmm, that's not good. We need to send some more troops in amongst that immediately. We'll see if we can move these elite troops, what's left of them, in and amongst. Got more artillery, which I could blow the enemy up with. They're lurking at that back bit, so I'm just going to... Do some sporadic bombardments. And it looks like we're going to get in uncontested. Raiders have snuck in. Ah, oh, they've got men in there. They're slapping me. They're done. Quickly, lads, quickly. Oh, they're done as well. Oh, flipping heck. Yeah, we need more troops down this way. We'll move these riflemen up here and see what we can do. Pretty much relying on artillery at this point. Suppress whatever's down there. Keep gassing them. Keep murdering them. Many of them are just waiting for a reload now, to be completely honest. We have to suppress a bit of that as well. Troops are coming in. Come on, lads. They're trying to push back, but they're just getting slapped in the face real hard. Grenadiers here. Just not enough of them remaining to do any major destruction. It looks like they might be trying to go down there now. That's interesting. We've pretty much got this little bit in the back. I've done it again with these. I need to really watch what I'm pressing. Flipping heck. There you go. We've got it. We have got it. A lot of them moved over here, which is a little bit concerning. But we should be able to contain them. We could barrage them again. More artillery. We're going to get a scout plane in and see what we're actually dealing with up here. There are troops in there. I watched them go in. Oh, we've got a little, little bit of that left. Maybe some raiders might be worth a go here. We'll get some running over. Well, all of that is nice and secure. A few spare troops down here to have a look. See, that's... Oh, hey oh. They're still sending in reinforcements, but they're going to get slapped in the face. We should be able to gas load of this. Gas them, see what happens. Don't think they've got anybody over there. I might just have a wee gander. We'll get some stormtroopers in... That trench might be able to see. There we go. They're running out of that trench now. They're getting shot. That is exactly what I wanted. We have these stormtroopers running. Oh, raiders, should I say, running over. We 
get some of them running across. And they should give up. I think they're out of troops. There you go. Murdered. We'll get rid of that remaining artillery piece. No, I think that well, not that I think they've got anybody left who can actually man it. That's gone, I think. I'm just gonna wait for our own guest to disappear now, really. Excellent. Burn it. Oh yes. Oh, they've got more people coming over, but the grenadier is gonna make short work of them. Let's put help them along a little bit, I suppose. Try and blow them up as they come in. That certainly won't do them any favours. Yeah, it's done a little bit. Right from the ranges about here from this back line. As soon as they approach, they get slapped in the face. That trench would appear to be gone. That one is gone. We can just push in on that bit. Nice. Well, what I am going to do is use Raiders to do this. A little bit more expensive. But that should reduce casualty numbers significantly. Yeah, look, see, they've got people in there, regular infantry and other things. We'll just try and bombard these to death. Probably not going to work, but it is what it is at this point. It might be worth swapping these raiders with actual riflemen so that they can't keep sending people in. Just keep bombarding that, they'll give up eventually. Come on, chaps. Oh, wonderful. They have decided to surrender. I'll take that. That was a good one. How many people do you think got murdered? I'm going to go with... Mm, 18,000. Oh, look at that guess. Oh, that doesn't include the elite infantry. Not far off, though. 18, call that. 20,000 murdered, and we lost around 1, 2, 3,000. Not a bad effort. Yeah, they weren't too happy about that. An extra attack done now there. Oh, fantastic. Thankfully, the enemy didn't have any tanks. It would only be the raiders and a little bit of bombage that could deal with them. They would have made a nightmare. So that concludes this episode. It's been another short one. I've not got that much time. And I'm still waiting for your verdict as to if you want shorter ones but more frequent or longer ones and a little bit less frequent. Do let me know in the comments. I shall see you in the next one. Have a good day and toodle pip. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. Hopefully, if you have, if you can like the video too, that helps as well. A special thank you to all of the members of the channel who get lovely benefits of up to two weeks worth of additional content early. Isn't that right, lovely? Now the next video, if it's available, will be on the screen right now to the bottom left and the full playlist to the bottom right. Have a good one!